Half the fun of taking photos is sharing them with other people on the web. iPhoto 09 lets you share photos with your Facebook friends with a single click. Here are some photos I'd like to share. I can share all of these, or just the ones I select. Then all I have to do is click the Facebook button, then publish. iPhoto automatically creates a new Facebook album, and since I'm already logged into my Facebook account, my photos start uploading right away. Now suppose my friend Lisa checks out this photo on her PC and notices that her friend Zoe doesn't have a name tag. That's because Zoe hasn't been named in iPhoto, but Lisa can quickly add her name in Facebook. The next time iPhoto syncs with Facebook, Zoe's name will be added to her face in my library. I can then confirm her name to add her snapshot to my corkboard. A full screen slideshow is a great way to enjoy and share your photos. And iPhoto 09 makes it easier than ever to put together captivating slideshows. To instantly make a slideshow, I can select any group of photos, a person in faces view, a place, or an event. I'll pick this event, then click the Slideshow button, and choose a theme. This new scrapbook theme should look great with these photos. I click Play, and iPhoto creates a polished cinematic slideshow. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the at any point, I can use these controls to change the music or the speed. There are six themes to choose from. In addition to Classic, Ken Burns, and Scrapbook, there's Shatter. Snapshots. and sliding panels. iPhoto uses face detection to correctly position the photos so that none of the faces are cropped out of the frame. I can even use the film strip at the bottom of the screen to jump ahead or jump back to any photo in the slideshow. When I'm done creating my slideshow, I can send it to iTunes, where I can easily sync it to my iPod or iPhone and share my photos wherever I go. iPhoto makes it easy to turn your photos into one-of-a-kind calendars, greeting cards, and beautiful photo books. And with iPhoto 09, we've made our photo books even better. Now you can create travel books that use location data from your photos to render beautiful maps. Let me show you how. To begin making a book, I select an event or any group of photos. Then click here and choose a theme. Since these are vacation photos, let's use the travel theme. I'll use these photos for the cover. Then I'll click Auto Flow. This creates the book for me by filling in the rest of the pages with my photos. Notice on this page that iPhoto has already used the location data to create a map of my photos. I can easily scale and position the map. I can click to add lines showing my route from city to city. And I can drag each city up or down to reflect the order of my journey. I can also add a map to any other book theme by simply changing the layout. Even if my photos don't have location data, I can still create a map by typing in a city or country name.
the quality of iPhoto books is better than ever. And now with iPhoto 09, every hardbound book comes with a beautiful photo wrapped laminated cover. So that's a brief look at iPhoto 09, featuring some powerful new ways to organize and search your photos. Faces makes it easy to find the photos of the important people in your life. And Places lets you explore your library based on where you took your photos. And now iPhoto offers incredibly easy ways to share your photos with friends and family, with your social network on Facebook, on your Mac, iPhone, or iPod with great new cinematic slideshows, or in beautiful hardbound books. To find out more, watch the tutorials at apple.com slash iPhoto or visit your local Apple retail store. Thank you.